and with me Nadav Pizarro as always to my right and uh, we've just seen uh, Israel finally get their first win of the tournament against Serbia and a convincing win and now interesting game Cyprus against Moldova Moldova oh. also with three wins so far three wins Moldova I think so wow yes I believe you're right Moldova, I, I think the surprise package uh, of the tournament. Uh, last tournament, uh, last uh, tournament last year, I think they came second to last. They obviously didn't come with their strongest team. This this year, very strong start. Three Cyprus have been looking good as well. Cyprus have been looking very good. They lost to the Netherlands, but uh, obviously Netherlands are one of the favourites here. And uh, even in that loss, they've. They looked very impressive. Cyprus very strong in the set pieces. Strong scrums, good line outs. Yes, big guys. Uh, and a couple of speedsters. That's what you want in, uh, in your uh, sevens team. We have a uh, Cyprus line out. That, that line out throw is not straight. It'll be a scrum to Moldova. We've got four games to go in this uh, day one of the tournament. Uh, Cyprus against Moldova at the moment. Uh, after that, Lithuania against Croatia, Netherlands against Sweden, and finally Belgium against Poland. That should be a cracking match. Cyprus here, as always, in the white and yellow. And Moldova in their traditional red. infringement by Cyprus and we've got a line out to Moldova balls kicked out on the full and so line out Moldova that's one of the worst line out throws I've seen in a while not straight not straight at all so two throws not straight and so the scrum will go to Cyprus. And now the referee will have a quick discussion with uh, the Cyprus players. I think what happened there was uh, a few Cyprus players yelled, not straight. <laughs> and so the referee told them, I've got eyes as well and I don't need you to tell me what to call. Thank you. Oh, they stole the ball. Moldova stole the ball from the Cyprus slide out. Cyprus scrum. And and good slice. Beautiful slice. And Moldova, time and again today, they look sluggish one minute and then pull off a oh. beautiful switch move. Off they go. And a try it is to number 12. Unfortunately, you don't have his name. We don't have his name. Is that the same number 12? He's always scoring tries and we never have his name because the, some other, the team sheets don't mention a number 12 um, from Cyprus but all right I'm sure the guys from Cyprus the rugby fans from Cyprus or from Moldova Maybe sorry a player down they know who it is player down from Moldova yes successful conversion 7-0 seven 7-0 in. Seven in Moldova after three and a half minutes yes I thought Cyprus would uh, the man doesn't look like he's moving the man down Oh yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Yes, I think Moldova the surprise package, and even in this game, I thought uh, Cyprus would control this game. They looked very impressive to me, and still, Moldova take the lead. And I think it's seven 0 right? Seven 0 Yes. Was good. Seven 0 Okay, number eight from Cyprus, the big boy from Pontypriv. And that number 12, I'm pulling his sidestep all day. We saw him chase down a runaway, what looked like a runaway oh, try. Oh, looks like it'd be try. dangerous. Big, fast guy, very hard to solve. Very good try. And that is a brilliant try in the corner. 
Number and who was five. in support? Christopher, the big number eight. Big number eight in support. Uh, Christopher, well, we've, we saw him today. He scored a brilliant try he today. He scored a one of the tries of the tournament. Absolutely. And a full 80 meters, uh, sliced through the defense, through a dummy, beat a few defenders, and, and scored a, a massive handoff in the end. Massive handoff in the end. Yes. Unsuccessful conversion. Score is 7 5. Moldova leading so I think after four and a half minutes. Number five from Cyprus who scored the try is Georgios Agathkolos. Here we go. Moldova. Again, yes. Somehow managed Good support. to keep possession. Oh. Yes, still keep possession. Juggling the ball. Even if it looks sluggish at times. Mm -hmm. oh, now they're penalized. See what Cyprus can do here. They've got some good footballers in their side. Number twelve again. He's been impressive today. Oh, small lock on there. Just Jack stopping Antonio. the continuation. Jack Antonio from Cyprus. That's a cool half for his number 12. Excellent player. In attack and defense, we've seen him so uh, dominant. Covering tackles and, and making uh, plays in attack, creating tries. One of the players uh, that uh, stood out for me today. Here we go, Moldova with the scrum. In trouble there, messy ball. Yeah, the ball shot out. It was difficult for the number nine to control it. It's on the back line right now. Another player from Moldova seems to be down. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Okay, some magic spray. Yes, freeze that wound, get the pain away. Here we go. Can Cyprus hit back here and get into the front? Number 12 again, we've seen him score. Look at those great feet. Managed to offload the ball. Oh. Moldova, yet again. It's a mall. They've managed to do it every <laughs> single game. <laughs> every single game, twice or three times, they've managed to wrap up the ball. Keep it off the ground, keep the guy on his feet, and it's a turnover ball. And doing that against Cyprus is no, is no easy feat, because no. they're, they're big guys. It's going to be a big scrum from Cyprus. And they put the pressure on. Half time. Half time. Moldova leave, 7-5. I still have a feeling that uh, Cyprus can come back here and win it. Um, they've got a lot of dangerous players, a lot of players that can create something. But gee, this Mold Moldovan team is just stubborn and uh, they just seem to manage to win games. Yes, yeah, so they've been getting the job done, that's for sure. Yes. It'll be a, a great achievement to finish the day without a loss. Moldova <laughs> 
מובילים. 7-5 למולדובה, קצת מחצית, נעבור למחצי השני, משחק הבא אחרי, יש לנו את קרואטיה מול ליטא. שתי קבוצות שניצחו אותנו, שתי קבוצות חזקות, עברו למשחק מאוד טוב. אוקיי, מולדובה, getting ready to kick off the second half. Moldova with the kickoff. Here we go. Let's see what Cyprus can do. Straight out. Cyprus, remember, have already lost once. So if they lose a second game, they can be out of the cup standings. And that means they can compete for five to nine, which is not what they want. And I think they're better than that. Here we go. Here's number 12, yet again. Making the offload, scoring the try. Fantastic. Fantastic try. That number 12 for me is one of the players of the tournament. He just got the ball. He knew what had to be done. Made the break. Who scored the try in the end? I, I did. missed the guy who scored the try in the end. But definitely created by, by number 12, Jack Antonio. Fantastic player. And the conversion is good as well. And Cyprus take the lead. Yes. 10 to 7. And the guy who took that successful conversion from the corner was none else than Jack Antonio. Oh. oh. And a lucky Bit of a bounce. Lucky bounce. But here we go, Moldova back on the attack. Just when you think they're down and out. They're only five points down. Yeah, Moldovan team, uh, the Moldovan scrum half, he, he picked the ball up with one hand. That means that the ball is out. The moment you do that, the moment you pick the ball off the ground, opposing scrum half or anybody else on the other team can just come around the rock and uh, tackle you. And that's what happened in that occasion. Got tackled, dropped the ball. Loose ball and the uh, Cypriots are under pressure. And guess what? Moldovans yet again. Holding up. Holding up the mole. Holding up the mole, how many times have and we seen them do it? It's been such an effective tool for them. <laughs> it's just very clever rugby. Players knowing that that is probably the most effective way to create a turnover. Once uh, the rugby... It's a attacking position now. Yes. I think you just get a clean scrum against a very powerful, very powerful Cypriot scrum. Jeez. That wasn't a 180, that was a 360. <laughs> A deep kick. Yeah, but he had the penalty. Ball had to go out. Had to go out. Oh. Cypriots manhandling the Moldovians. Yes. And the ball's loose. A small chip kick. That and is a clever. Great clip. Oh, that is just unlucky on the bounce. <laughs> Brilliant cross what kick. What a kick. Brilliant cross kick. Oh, the pass. Support. A ball and all tackle, but Moldovan's got the ball and under the post. And that is a brilliant try from Fantastic. Moldova. They did one, one chip kick it, next was to it? us. That was picked up. And a pinpoint accurate cross kick. Another cross kick to the other side picked up. And finally, the Cypriot defense had their hands up and uh, couldn't defend any longer. 
It was a very well worked try, both sides of the field. Just running the, the separates off their feet in the end and not yes. enough defenders. And we're back in 12 all. Yes. Two and a half minutes to go. Is it 12 all? Are we still waiting for a conversion attempt? No. Oh, there's a guy down for Moldova. Doesn't look good, actually. Head down. I don't know where his teammates are. Or manager. Physio taking care of him. Yeah, it looks like that. Might yeah. be a muscle. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. The way his uh, hands on his eyes looks more to me like a... The trainer was oh. moving his legs. Oh. So no, it's either a very bad sprain. He cannot, he cannot put his foot on the ground. I don't. I doubt that guy can take any more, any part in this tournament. It doesn't look good. Just correction, it's not 12 oh, it's 14 12 yes. to Moldova. 14 12 to Moldova, I thought so. 14 12 to Moldova. Again, showing such character. Oh, I hope that ball is out. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the bushes, that's gonna cost us. Well, Moldova, two points up, and a minute and a half to go. Cyprus desperate now. Try oh. and get that ball knock on. That is crucial. This might might be the last chance for the Cypriots. It's gonna have a scrum and about a minute left. Yes, a minute left. A minute, a minute and ten seconds to go. Cyprus, they can do this. We've seen them score length of the field tries. Then get the ball. Here we go. The ball. Uh, oh, almost through. Well. Here we go. Okay, where where is n where is number twelve? <laughs> is he here next to us. Here we go. Here he is. You can be sure he's going to try and create something. Or at least draw about the right. three defenders and get the numbers on the other side. Because Moldovans knew they had to cover him. And there you go. Ooh. Ooh. Good cover defense by, the, by Moldova. And if they can spread it, there's a guy offside, well offside. And number 12, here he goes. <laughs> All the, way. All the way. And you can see what it means to Cyprus. They are running out of their training shed. A fantastic, fantastic last minute try. Last minute try. We've seen them do it against the Czech Republic. Now they've done it against Moldova. And that is a very important win. And you can see what it means to them. Uh, Players in the arms of other players. It's a massive win for them. Moldovan, Moldova finally losing a game. Yes. Their final game of the day. They're three out of four for today. And so are Cyprus. That was fantastic. Excellent game of rugby. Just to consider that was their final game of the day. Final game of the day, after playing three full games in your fourth game to produce that sort of form, that sort of rugby, and that to me means class, that to me means excellent training and preparation, and that number 12, to me, 
Jack Antonio is the name. Absolutely brilliant. Next up, Nadav. Lithuania against Croatia. Another big game. <laughs> Lithuania have been very good. Yes, they have. Um, they've been good. They broke Israeli hearts and so did Croatia. Both teams managed to <laughs> break Israeli hearts and kind of last yes. minute wins. Croatia <laughs> were ranked below Israel and but defeat them. I mean that they are I thought this should be Croatia. Maybe we're slightly lucky to beat Israel. I mean, I thought Israel, I thought Israel were better, the better side. But uh, just, uh, yeah. I think we should see here a, a, a pretty strong win by Lithuania. Yeah, you think Lithuania have the goods here? Yes. Yeah, I also think so. But uh, I expect a tight game. I don't expect this to be a walkover. Um, it's gonna be a tight game, I believe. 